Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Time. Today's movie recap will be an action and thriller movie from 2014 called The November Man. Warning, there are spoilers ahead. In the opening scene, David Mason is chatting up a girl he's just met when his mentor, Peter Dale, comes over to caution him. He points out that the girl could be used against him to extract information, showing him someone in the crowd with a camera. This concerns David, but Peter suggests he get a dog if he's looking for affection. David and Peter are CIA agents about to embark on a mission to guard an ambassador. When Peter picks him up, they swap suits while David sets up his sniper rifle in a nearby building to watch the area. He notes potential threats and the appearance of a suspected shooter. David wants to call off the mission due to insufficient backup, but Peter, disguised as the ambassador, proceeds. A man from the crowd rises, and Peter, noticing a young boy, instructs David not to shoot. The man shoots Peter several times, but David retaliates, killing the man. Peter survives thanks to his body armor, but the boy is killed, deeply affecting Peter. Five years later, Peter, now retired and living in Switzerland, is contacted by John Hanley, a former CIA handler. Hanley shows him photos of deceased agents who worked with Peter and reveals that a Russian assassin named Alexa, hired by presidential candidate Arede Fedorov, is responsible. Fedorov aims to eliminate anyone aware of his past crimes. Although Peter feels uninvolved, Hanley presents another file about Natalie Lanova, Peter's former lover and an undercover agent close to Fedorov, holding crucial information. Hanley wants Peter to help Natalie escape so she can provide vital information to the CIA. In Moscow, during Fedorov's press conference, Natalie sneaks into his office, accesses his vault, and photographs compromising documents. After hastily replacing everything, she narrowly avoids being caught by Fedorov, who later discovers a key she left behind. As Natalie heads to the extraction point, she's pursued by Russian intelligence. Peter arrives just in time to rescue her. However, the CIA isn't aware of Peter's involvement, revealed when Natalie asks about their daughter, Lucy. The CIA plans to eliminate Natalie to secure the information she holds. Meanwhile, Peter learns more from Natalie about Mila Filipova, a key figure in Fedorov's secrets. David, part of the CIA extraction team, fatally shoots Natalie, leading to an accident. A devastated Peter vows revenge. As the CIA team departs, Peter attacks, killing several agents but sparing David. The two confront each other but part without violence. Peter then disposes of a phone Natalie gave him after removing its memory card. At his home, Hanley is raided by the CIA as he searches for Mila, and Peter, having learned more about the situation, continues his quest for justice. Sure enough, Peter quickly hotwires another car and is about to leave with Alice when David shows up. Peter fires at the spilled fuel, causing a nearby car to explode and helping them escape. After Edgar leaves the restaurant, Alexa secretly follows him. Peter questions Alice about Mila Filipova's whereabouts, but Alice claims she doesn't know. He warns her that those failing to find Mila will target her next. On a train, Alice reveals she has a file on Mila, and they start examining it. Despite seeing a photo of someone Alice knows as Libetto, a notorious pimp, Peter corrects her, explaining his real name is Simeone Denisov, and he was Fedorov's ally during the China War. They find Denisov at his strip club where Peter confronts him about Fedorov erasing anyone aware of his past war crimes. Denisov explains that China has oil interests for Russia and reveals a building explosion that killed Russian soldiers and triggered the war was orchestrated by Fedorov and the CIA, shocking Peter. At the CIA's black site, Celia tries to interrogate Hanley about his ties with Peter, but Hanley rudely dismisses her. Back at the office, Weinstein shows David a flash drive hinting at Peter's low opinion of him. At home, David reviews the flash drive and finds photos of Peter and Natalie, contradicting Peter's advice against personal attachments. It also contains a report from Peter labeling David as reckless and recommending his dismissal from the agency, infuriating David. Meanwhile, David sees the neighbor's cat again, and he and the neighbor, named Sarah, introduce themselves. Peter and Alice buy multiple phones and discuss Mila's safety while walking down the street. Peter then breaks into an apartment where he grabs some alcohol and watches from the window. He notices Sarah and David leaving in a taxi. David and Sarah end up at a club, where David decides to prioritize living over his job, enjoying their time together. Back at the apartment, Alice slips a Russian word, surprising Peter, who learns her parents were university professors who taught her Russian. David and Sarah return, clearly much closer after their night out. Peter then decides Alice can no longer accompany him. He gives her some cash and a phone for her safety and leaves. The next morning, David wakes to find Sarah gone and gets a text from her phone. 
He checks his gun, also missing, and goes to the kitchen where he finds Peter holding a gun to Sarah's head. David tries to reassure her, but Peter manipulates the situation, challenging David's commitment to saving Sarah. When David hesitates, Peter claims it proves his point. David yells that she is worth saving, and Peter tells him it's time for his final lesson about detaching from the people he affects while on duty. David argues that he had no choice but to kill Natalie in Moscow. As Peter holds a knife to Sarah's throat and sets his gun aside, David grabs the gun and demands that Peter let Sarah go. Peter tests David one last time by cutting Sarah's femoral artery and then leaves. David quickly applies pressure to the wound and Sarah likely survives after an ambulance is called. Fedorov meets with Alexa for instructions before a conference. When Edgar returns home, he encounters Alice, who wants to share everything she knows about Fedorov, including information about Mila. As Edgar goes to get a recorder, Alexa ambushes and stabs him, but Edgar restrains her, giving Alice a chance to escape. David re-examines Peter's photos and discovers that Peter and Natalie had a daughter, a fact unknown to the CIA. At the CIA site, Peter confronts Hanley about calling him back, given that Natalie was unaware of his involvement. Hanley reveals that Natalie witnessed events from the China War, where America bombed a building, implicating both Weinstein and Fedorov in her execution. He also tells Peter that Alice is Mila Filipova. David informs Weinstein about Peter's daughter and shows him photos of Peter with Lucy, while the CIA matches Alice's face with Mila's records. Alice, now identified as Mila, receives a call from Peter warning her not to confront Fedorov, but she disregards his advice and heads to Fedorov's apartment. There, she reminisces about Fedorov sparing her life during the murder of her family. Fedorov then psychologically torments her, but Peter arrives just in time, fights the guards, and bursts into the room. Peter attempts to force Fedorov to confess his crimes and his CIA connections by playing Russian roulette, which leads Fedorov to admit his conspiracy with John Hanley, surprising Peter as Hanley had previously blamed Weinstein. Outside the hotel, Peter engages in a shootout with CIA agents. David, also present, fails to capture Peter, who gives Mila an access card to escape safely. David chases Peter into the basement, where they fight until Peter knocks David unconscious and leaves him with Alice's phone. Later, at the station, they view Fedorov's confession and decide to confront Weinstein, but are surprised to find Hanley in his office instead, who orders David to sit down. Peter reunites with Alice at the hotel, advising her to disappear as it's safer than being caught. They discuss their lives, and Peter tells her he's now a retired agent running his businesses. He tries to call his daughter's phone, only to discover Hanley has kidnapped her and threatens Peter's life. Hanley reveals that it was David who got them Lucy and offers to trade Lucy for Mila. Peter instructs Mila to book three tickets for their escape while he goes to confront Hanley. Hanley discloses his plans to control Fedorov and manipulate international politics. Meanwhile, David learns of Hanley's corruption, sabotages his associate's car, causing a fatal crash, and then goes to rescue Lucy. Mila finishes her article exposing Fedorov and then reunites with Peter and Lucy. Later, she gives a deposition about Fedorov's crimes and her family's murder, which derails Fedorov's presidential ambitions. In the final scene, Fedorov, on a yacht, thinks he has escaped all charges but is then shot, ending the film. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Take care, and see you next time.